Yo, yo, what's up everyone? In today's video, we went card hunting and here you guys can see how that went. All right, so we just got here to Target and they definitely restocked. Looks like they have the brand new Prism NASCAR, which looks somewhat interesting, honestly. But they have a great variety of everything else. There's some Chrome Update Baseball hanger boxes. We got some Chrome Update Baseball mega boxes as well. I already grabbed a few products. There was one loan update baseball hanger box. I'm gonna grab one chrome uh, hanger and one paper hanger as well. Looks like this guy is getting some prison basketball mega boxes. So we're running low on those. There was like 70 of them. Now there's three. So it's nice to see some stuff on the shelf. Overall, pretty solid restock. Alrighty, so we just got here to Walmart. And I'm having a hard time figuring out if they have restocked or not. I mean, there's some HRO packs down there, some magic. And as we come over here to the sports, I'm not really seeing anything that stands out as new. We have some of the mystery packs, some of the gems of the game. And a lot of the stuff that's already been here, Topps Chrome, Bowman Platinum, a lot of the older stuff, so probably gonna end up passing on everything here very much looking forward to seeing mosaic football blasters next week hopefully not a little terrible restock though all righty so i just got here to meyer and i'm pretty surprised because i wasn't expecting to ever see any of these mega mystery power boxes again it looks like we have two of the basketball boxes and how about this it's like there's either five or six of the mosaic football cello packs I was not expecting to see those out in the wild this week, so it's very nice to see. They have a very good variety of everything else. Look at all those blasters down there. That's what happens when you charge $40 a blaster. Things start stacking up. But overall, very nice stock, ton of variety. They got the Bowman Chrome Megas and Pokemon, Optic and Prism, some Prism Soccer, Select Basketball. So this is a very nice restock. In all honesty, I'll probably snag these cellos and probably grab a Mega Mystery Power Box and call it a pretty successful restock. All right. And as you guys were able to see from the card hunting side of the video, we were able to make it out of the wild with some pretty nice products. In this video, we're going to be opening up a 2022 Topps Update Series Hanger Box and a 2022 Topps Chrome Update Series hanger box. I actually have not opened any of these yet this year. Everyone keeps telling me to open one for a review, so grabbed one out in the wild. These were $25, I think, compared to the uh, regular Update Series hangers were $12 to $13, depending on where you get them. So these are pretty much 50% off the price of the Topps Chrome Update Series. We're gonna see which box delivers the better pulls in today's video. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, show some love real quick, and say a prayer to the card gods. Let's get active. Been having an absolute blast opening baseball recently. Hopefully the card gods can continue to be with us. All right, so it's five packs in this hanger box. Pretty interesting. Five packs, four cards. On the back here, all the randomly inserted cards. I believe you get three, where is it? You get three pink wave parallels. And we're looking, obviously, that'd be amazing to pull a one of one. On the back here, all the numbered parallels though. It'd be cool to pull something numbered, or at least like an auto or a nice, nice pink rookie. Fingers crossed. Let's get active. First pack. All right, we have George Kirby, Lucius Fox, Jerickson Profar. Nice, we've got a Jeremy Pena. Not a bad way to start at all. I'm really excited to see what these pink wave parallels look like. And I've seen pictures, but looks like we have one in this pack right here. Maybe a refractor too. Luke Williams, Ron Marinasio, 
Got a refractor of Ian Happ. Next, we have Cole Irvin, and our pink is a rookie. Oh, for Kansas City, it's going to be MJ Melendez. Not a bad pull, but obviously not Bobby Witt. I'm not complaining. I don't mind pulling Melendez. <clears throat> so it's our first look at the pink waves. Pretty sharp looking parallels. Definitely off-centered, which is concerns that a lot of people have had with Topps Chrome update this year. There's Bobby Witt. We got another pink back there. Here we have Connor Pilkington, rookie Rich Hill. Connor Joe. And Pink Wave's going to be a rookie, Brendan Donovan. Can't complain we're getting two rookie pinks. Still got two more packs to go. Hopefully we can get some uh, other numbered parallel, or numbered parallel, I should say. We have CJ, not a terrible pull. Suzuki, Generation Now. Refractor, pretty card. Matt Olson and Michael Lorenzen on the back. So we got one last pack. All right, looks like no numbered cards in this box. Steven Matz, Alec Thomas, Taylor Walls, Joe Dunano, and it, at least we got a rookie. Nice, I'll take that. So three for three on rookie pink waves. Can't really be too upset. Let's go over all the pulls from the Chrome box. Compare it to the paper in a minute not a little bad snag we got three pink wave rookies jeremy melendez thomas so not terrible let's check out the paper hanger boxes which this has been my favorite product within like the last couple months i just seem to keep pulling bangers and bangers from it so hopefully we can continue the luck A lot of base cards, but sometimes they sneak in some rookies. Slide these up here. Aces up. It's going to be a lot of base cards. Max Scherzer, Donaldson. Got another Melendez. Miggy. Cooper. There we go. CJ. Matt Olson, Stubbs, Stephen Kwan, Tyler Wade, Kevin Smith, Torkelson. Oh, we got an orange. Oh, and we got two numbered cards. We got Seth Lugo. Hold on. And another, I thought we had two, another backwards card after that. All right, so we have Adam Engel and Seth Lugo. Lugo out of 2022. And Adam Engel is out of 299. And we got a uh, Vlad Guerrero All Star game. We get four stars of MLB cards. Every hanger so far that I've opened, at least. Ronald Acuna, Mountcastle. And then let's see what we're going out with. Let's see if they can throw us a Julio, maybe a Wander. Got Plummer. Jose Miranda, another solid rookie. Ryland Bannon. Royce Lewis. Kyle Bradish. Um, getting onto the wire here. We got O'Neill Cruz at least. And that'll do her. So not terrible, honestly. Two numbered cards. Sleeve these up real quick. We got Adam Engel and Seth Lugo. 
These oranges are really nice looking parallels. All right, so you guys can comment below which boxes you prefer, the paper version of Update or the Chrome for this year's hanger boxes. I mean, I think everyone knows the answer, but let's go over all the pulls from this. We got some pretty solid pulls. We got the Angle, the Lugo, CJ, Alex Thomas, Suzuki, another Abrams, Brandon Donovan, Pink, Bobby Witt, Ian Happ, Jeremy Pena, MJ Melendez, and a pink Alex Thomas as well. So a lot of color, pretty fun rip overall. At least we got some numbered stuff as well. And that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Show some love as always. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. And peace out.